to Mississippi 47. A local gang known as the Gators handled the distribution of drugs up and down the Mississippi. The Gators moved their merchandise on a tourist riverboat. Our client wants you to shut them down. Your job is to eliminate the six Gator crew members and their boss. The client also wants any documents you find in the boss's safe, which is somewhere on the upper deck. The Gators stay in their private area on the top two decks of the ship. Access to that area is limited. We have no other information. Keep up the good work, 47. Hello there everyone, I am your German snob and I'm here with another episode of Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. Now this mission, it's sort of a difficult one. So, I suppose um, some of the stuff in it will take me multiple tries. Now first thing I want is one of the sailors uh, uniforms. And this is going to be hard and I'm probably going to cut out essentially everything but... Yeah, because then that happens. I'm pretty sure it is possible to knock out that one guy before his friend appears because I'm pretty sure I've done it before but this time it didn't work so uh, time for another try see ya in a minute well I guess there are smarter ways to go about this I'm just not sure if I know them <laughs> all right now as I said what we want is a sailor's uniform and um, the good thing about them is that they will get you mostly anywhere on this ship. Um, and you can get them right at the beginning. So that means that you don't have to bother changing your, uh, your disguise. Thing is, it is kind of hard to wait for the right moment to steal one. So that means one has got to be very careful going about this. Now, I think I used to know a way to get one right at the beginning of the mission, but apparently it is slightly harder than I expected it. So this guy, this guy is going to sleep. Good night. And he's going to give me his clothes. And even though this will probably probably do some bad things to our body count uh, we're just going to throw him over the rail goodbye and now that we've done that we have pretty much free access to the rest of the ship what makes this mission comparatively harder to what we've been to what we've done this far is the fact that we have to eliminate like what seven people on it that means not only the main target, but also six members of a gang. And one of them is right here. And that very one. I doubt that he's going to live for very much longer, so goodbye. And that would be one of them. <laughs> well, that went better than expected. Right, buddy? Sure you agree. But we are, of course, only partway there. And that was... the easy part. So that means now we have to take care of all the rest. As I said, this uniform will get you anywhere on the ship, but at some points, people will search you. And right now we are armed. So that means um, that's something we shouldn't forget, I suppose. Okay, where's our second target? I seem to remember that one's on this very deck. To be precise, he is in that corridor. Right there, just making out with a... Um, with a lady. So that means this would be a pretty bad point to kill him. Right, sir? Sure you agree. And I'm going to make a save here, because why not? Essentially just for the sake of not having to do this over and over again. Alright, they have gun in there. I'm not sure if I've showcased this, but you can look through the keyhole. But if people see you doing it, 
they will think that you are a weirdo and maybe attack you. And that's something we don't want. So yeah, Lady got out again. Whatever they did, it didn't seem to take them too long. And that means we can kill him. And that would be target number two. But once again, this was still the easy part. And just for good measure, we can't really hide him anywhere, huh? So let's just hope that no one's gonna come in there. Especially not that nice young woman he just uh, spent some time with. Yeah. Actually, while I'm he well, never mind then. I wanted to say actually while I'm here, I could just um, drop off my gun there. But forget about that. I think if we would have waited another time, he would have come out here to like have a smoke or something, and we could have pushed him off there. But really, what we just did works well enough. I hope. <laughs> well, even if they should find his body, uh, there would be no way to trace it back to me right now. But it would probably get us a worse rating at the end of the mission. Which would be kind of frustrating, but not really anything to be worried about, seeing how we um, don't really have any reason to uh, worry about our rating because, well, because, no, really, mostly because uh, that's not really what we're here for. I mean, I can live getting a non-perfect rating. And if you want... Beg your pardon, sir. Might I trouble you to direct the waiter in my direction? No, who the hell do you think you are? Now we want to go further up. But to go further up, we need to either drop or conceal our gun. Because otherwise these people won't let me go up there. And that would be just kind of a shame, wouldn't it? Now most of our targets are on the upper deck. But something tells me that another one is somewhere on this one, and apparently I'm right. But even for that, I'd still have to go, uh, yeah. So while it pains me much to do this, time to drop our silver ballast. Ah, uh, what a shame, I enjoyed having them. What just happened? A body has been found. Not entirely unexpected, but still kind of eh. You, sure, you can search me. Am I okay? Thanks. You're all set. So if I am set, why do you still? Uh, I've probably gone in too early. See ya in a minute. Well, now that we have to do this again, uh, it also gives us the opportunity to kill him in a more, I suppose, subtle fashion. So, over the board you go. And so much about him. And that would dispose of his body as well. Also, if we wanted to, we could... Uh, making another save here? Yeah. Just for the sake of making sure that I don't screw myself over here. We could use this way to bypass uh, some of the guards who would prevent us from going there. And avoid making the same mistake that we've made uh, one time already. So here we go. And I think at some point another one of our targets should come out here. So we probably continue playing the waiting game.
As I said, probably because I might be missing something here. Well, to go up in the VIP area, we once again have to drop our gun. Now, if we could actually go up there... You know, I seem to be able to remember that there is a way to conceal it, even though... Well... We would need something to... To do so... And I suppose that's just not worth it. So as much as it may hurt, it would probably be more reasonable to just drop it somewhere. And I'm not sure if it makes people suspicious if we do so. Well, rather if they find them. Just doing so won't do us anything bad, but you know what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, never mind. Just going to leave him here. You're going to take them with you, won't you? No, you won't. So, apparently you find... Finding a pair of... Um, heavily modified guns in a bathroom to be completely normal. Well, I'm not going to chat you. Yeah, you have to search me so that I can go up, right? You search me now. Hey, you're all set. I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? This is frustrating, you know? I mean, I'm not even... Ah. See you in a minute. Change of plan, we can just climb up there. Um, somewhat like that. If anyone sees us, of course, they're going to attack. But no one did see us, so... Nothing to worry about here. And here we have another target. And just to make sure, I'm going to make a save here. Now, if we're doing this correctly, we can just kind of wait for it. Say goodbye to him. Did anyone see that? Because that's what the music is kind of implying. Okay, but we are not allowed to go here. Okay, okay. Okay! Uh, do you see now why I don't like this mission all that much? I don't know, something about it just seems sort of broken. Goodbye! Now, where are we allowed to go? I don't know, but I think what we need to do is get ourselves another disguise. And seeing how we don't have a gun mirrors... Don't have a gun... Anymore. Uh, that means we have to use... Surely we don't have to use much of anything to do this. It means that we have to use our syringe, but we don't need it for anything else anyway, so... I'm not doing very well, am I? But at least now I know what to do. Alright, sedate that guy. Take his disguise. Stuff away the body. Uh, profit. Right, buddy? I knew you would agree, buddy. Can you please go overboard, buddy? Good. I probably should have saved after taking him out. 
And now we are going to sneak up on him. And actually we do have our guns. Because I've saved before dropping them. By the way, enemies will react to blood splatters on the floor. But you know what? I don't think anyone is going to come in here. So that means that's nothing really to worry about. Ah. Uh, but on the other hand, being a perfectionist... Uh, cut. And that is how a professional does it. Good night. Give me your clothes. And let me stuff away your body. Just um, for the distinct possibility that someone is going to come in here. I don't think anyone does. But I wouldn't rule it out completely. After all, there are quite a few guards around here. So now we are a first class steward. And what we can do now is poison that cake. We could also stuff a bomb in there or use it to conceal our guns. And might in fact do that. Though, apparently the game decides that this is not an option, so... Okay, no, the only thing we could place in there is a mine. Which we don't really need, seeing how we have poisoned it. Okay. So that means we are going to do this a little differently. And I think all of the targets that we have yet to kill are going to be on the upper deck. So... Where we want to go... is in fact back out again. Which I don't mean here, but rather here. And then as I said, to the upper deck. Thing is, I have kind of an idea what to do in this mission, it's just not all that great. And yeah, there don't seem to be any more targets up here. Because if I remember this correctly, there are... like, of the six that you need, three are on the lower decks, and all the other three are up here. So these two out here, another one, or two in there. Yeah, exactly, four more. So, I can go in there, I presume. Uh, searching me would be a pretty bad idea right now, seeing how I still have my guns and I don't want you to find them. Yet, if we were to take him out, that would eliminate that problem. And seeing how he is one of our targets, we'd have to do that eventually anyway. So that means, I think we have to take care of those two clowns first, which means we can just kind of casually drop that cake there, nothing will happen to it. I mean, really. And I'm going to make another save here. That's what I'm going to do. Saving game, see? <laughs> That's pretty exciting. Yeah. And you come with me now. Oh, I'm not talking about hurting you, I'm just talking about killing you. And then throwing you over the rail. Don't do anything stupid, pal. So that means you go to sleep now. Of course we have to kill him and not just knock him out. Uh, but I think throwing, throwing him overboard will do the job. Now the only thing to take care of is to do exactly that. The problem here of course is that I'm kind of afraid that someone will come out here and see me just sort of dragging him along here and that will be bad. 
Uh, but if I time it correctly, I can just throw him overboard there. And now, those little ships there are just for decoration. And he didn't really seem to fall overboard, but just on that little thing down there. But I doubt that anyone will s find his body there, seeing how no one other than myself, of course, is going to use that little catwalk there. And there's another guy. And seeing how there are no more guards around here, and he doesn't really notice that we just killed his friend. He's not going to be a problem either. And I have no idea why he puts that weapon down ex there of all places. But you know it's his right to do so, so who am I to judge him? Okay. Now there's kind of a danger that that sailor there would see us if we were to kill him. In fact, there's a pretty good chance that he will. And by the way, I think we want him dead too. So making another save here, once again we have plenty of them. So that means I don't have to feel bad about wasting them here. <laughs> and I know that this video is getting repetitive. But hey, what do you want to do? Die? Okay, so we don't do that. See ya in a minute. And another one bites the dust. Just like that. And I really hope that no one is going to find his body there. But I don't think that anyone will. So now there should only be two of them left, right? And they are all fairly close together. So that makes things just a bit easier. Next one... Next one is one that we have to wait for. And that's what we we're going to do, so see ya once again in a minute. Ah, uh, let's do this the simple way. You go in there. You sleep. And then that's the most important part. You die. Easy as that. So, only one left to kill. And for that we have brought a plate of cake. To be precise, a poisoned plate of cake. And that we are going to take with us. Alright, Captain. That would be the last thing that needs to be done. You're gonna enjoy that cake. That's what you're going to do. While I am going to enjoy stealing your... I think it was some sort of incriminating photos that are in his safe that for some reason isn't locked. Well, because of that they're mine now. And while I could just walk out now, I at least want to see him die. So, hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it, cake man. Yep, you could say if you wanted to that that cake was a lie, uh, but then you would be guilty of making a very very tired choke, and I don't think you want to be guilty of that. Now do you? And we are going to drop his body here. I doubt that anyone is going to come in here. Yeah. 
but we, we are just going to leave. And the exit is, if I remember correctly, I think all the way we came from, right? First deck. Yep. Not going to show you all the way of, of going there, so I'm gonna make a cut here and see you in a minute. Well, and that was that. Time to make our exit. All things considered, this went better than expected. Not perfectly, but uh, still a professional. And that's all I can ask for. And as always, you can, if you really want to, read the article about it. There it is. Hope you enjoy it. And so on and so forth. Now that would be this mission. As always, it went better than expected. And... For some reason... On the bottom of the page... That code there... For some reason is in Forain. I don't know, probably it's Danish or something. Seeing how that's where the game was made. And they just forget to... Translate it. And I say to that, fair enough. And on another note, I am your German snob. This is Let's Play Hitman Blood Money. I'm going to be seeing you for my next episode. <laughs> and until then, I am, as I said, your German snob, and I'll be seeing you. Goodbye.